The fourth topic is to convert polar and rectangular coordinates. Now, conversion of polar to rectangular is very simple. To find x, so polar is basically r and theta, rectangular is x and y. To find x, you need to substitute r cos theta. They will give you r and theta. That means it's polar, right? So the polar will be given. That is r and theta. That is radius and angle. All you need to do is substitute the radius cos theta to get x. Whereas r sine theta would be y. So these are the basic formula. Now let's see how to convert. You have been given a polar coordinate 4, pi by 6. You need to convert this to radians. Uh, sorry, you need to convert to rectangular form r is given theta is given it's up to you to convert or not convert if you're not convert, converting this to degree you need to change to radian mode i will tell you how the answer will be the same now if you want to use pi by 6 itself you need to press shift mode and then radians now we know the formula is r into cos theta that is pi by 6 divided by 6 so this is the answer, 2 root 3. You can see over here, 2 root 3. If I change this to sine, it's going to be just 2. And that is y value. But if you are not willing to change to radian mode, it's the default mode in degree. The default is in degree. Now all you need to do is, wherever you get the angle pi by 6, so pi, instead of pi, put 180 divided by 6. What is the angle? That is 30 degrees. Now you are used 30. That is cos 30. That is 2 root 3. And change it to sine 30. <clears throat> Sorry. This is sine 30 and it is 2. So this is how you can easily convert from polar to rectangular coordinates. This is not required, but this is just the graphic. The answer is 2 root 3, 2. Same way you can try this by yourself. Do it by yourself, pause the video and check the answer in a while. Now don't worry if it's negative or anything, it's fine. Now you can do it's 60 degrees, but still, how do you do? Minus pi is 180 divided by 3. That's 60, negative 60. So R is 4 into cos negative 60. Close the bracket. That's 2. And whereas if you want sine, all you need to do is change this to sine and you will get the answer minus 2 root 3. This is how we get it. And try all these problems by yourself and then check the answers. Very simple, very straightforward. And please do check them. But first you need to try it by yourselves. So that's it.